prophet Jeremiah, what of prophet? He has a good heart. That's why you see that people call me a rugged prophet. I'd be saying that I'm a rugged king. Me, King Agobola. Before God and man, I will, I will take you spiritually and make sure from stroke and kidney failure, I will bring you down. And people know the kind of thing I do. This very dark man and prophet Jeremiah case, don't they go another level? This warning, they come from King Agubiola all the way from Dubai. It has strong warning. I give very dark man. Good morning, good uh, afternoon, good evening, good night from the, every area you're watching me from, view from. I want to address this issue about a very dark man and uh, Prophet Jeremiah of Motor Fame, Senior Prophet Jeremiah. And uh, likewise, other people that are getting involved in this issue. Because I see there's uh, so many wrong human beings that is getting involved in this guy issue. And I want to address this issue properly so you can understand that this time around, I am not making it smoother because I want to give you a milk to drink with honey. No. My name is King Agobola Oledonia. I'm still His Royal Majesty, Igwe Agobola, SND Bowa of United Arab Emirates, to be precise, Dubai, Mwanamoa Hawaii of Nubu State. I, this kind of a king that you know, I am very simple, uh, honorable to people, associative to people, tarot with people. But sometimes I am this person that will let you know that some way you are going, Bible says, teach, bring up your child in a good way is that when the child grows, there is something to try to see and know that truly I, am, I came out from a parent's that know God and parents that have caught sin, that have things that they put in the right and roughful ways. Why do I bring this issue? I want you to see this video. You see this video? You see how very dark man was busy talking about uh, senior prophet Jeremiah. Very busy and arising, telling you this and that. I want to tell you something very quickly because I don't want this video to be very long. Please help me to share this video. God bless you. All my followers all over the world I always share my video, share my link, do everything. I love you so much and God will continue to bless you for that. How do you have every business on earth and you have this special business of focusing on someone like you really want to bring this person? What do you think in your life, very dark man, that several rats Rats, seven rats. We hold a big bag of rice, and you'll be eating that rice, and you'll finish it in two hundred years. Seven rats with one big bag of rice. In my village, our age, we say, no matter how okay struggle, Oman Kachawa rice. You and your sponsors and the supporters. It's now getting so obvious that this same thing you cannot do it to any North Anans. A Muslim, you cannot try it. Because I've seen miracles. I've seen people do prayers. Let me tell you something. The viewers and the supporters of Very Dark Man, there's a division of level. Everybody, every preacher, every prayerful man have the way you do your own miracles. You have how you treat your own thing. Likewise, some doctors and nurses. You have how you operate in your hospitals. I have seen some people doing miracles in America. I have seen uh, 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 Prophet T.D. Jeff, Pastor T.D. Jeff, doing his own miracles. Very dark man for crying out loud. Are you the one to provide a bed in church? That is a church, not a sleeping place, not a hotel. For crying out loud, for you to tell Prophet Jeremiah to bring a bed for the little child. In, I mean, that is doing deliverance, he should bring a bed to put a little child. You must be very hopeless to make that comment. You must be very less. Is he not the same you very dark man? That is bringing out your, your dick and massaging it and you post the video. For people to go and download and pay money to download it. What are you teaching the young youth? 
If you're not a cow, if Oguno they kill you, why would you do that kind of a video and post? Which manners are you teaching the kids? I want you to also see the video. But for you know, because of the display channel of two, uh, you, uh, Facebook and the Instagram and TikTok, I will not show you the full video. This same man that telling you about Christianity is not good, uh, people in Christianity brings a dick and is massaging it. He's romancing his dick. Who are you seducing? That is satanic. That is demonic. Very dark man, I put it to you 100% that that video, you are living. The other time you were saying that uh, uh, Chris Brown, what's that guy name? Uh, Bob Risky is leading some people into hell, doing this and doing that. This is not leading people into hell. You are seducing people's wife. You are seducing little children. You are making some young youths to learn from this stupid behavior of yours in this video. Talk about hopeless and useless. You should be the master of this and stay away from some men of God. The other time you talk about Prophet Abu Kobi of Zion Ministry, you open your mouth and look at that man with the kind of his crowd of people that he's fathering and you're calling him this year, year man. And that's come and go. And you, think, do you think that you are, have grown and passed the level of spiritual attack? Prophet, uh, prophet uh, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motofobe, he has a good heart. That's why you see that people call me a rugged prophet. And they say that I'm a rugged king. Me, King Agobola. Before God and man, I will, I will take you spiritually and make sure from stroke and kidney failure, I will break you down. And people know the kind of thing I do. That's why you see people don't go out there to put my video on air, to insult me, to talk shit about me. I will come for your family. I don't know how to do before they did. No. I test squarely the law of Moses. You come there and insult Prophet, uh, Senior Prophet Jeremiah, and you keep calm. Why? He's a man that has one kind of heart that God has given him. Prophet Ebukobi has the same heart that God has given him. I am no nonsense man. You insult IG or police the other time. They leave you because you think you have some some set of uh, 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 that you are dealing with. You have some set of people that are telling you, ride on, ride on, we are in your back, we are your back bones. This time, the bones will break. When the pillars that hold the building collapse, where do you think that the building will stand? I don't want to talk too much in this video, but I want to clear one thing to you. You keep posting videos of uh, uh, Prophet Jeremiah, making mockeries of his, the, the miracle that God is doing, not him that is doing. God is using him to do. I came to worry. I thought that you were blackmailing and everything could stop people coming for a ministry. But funny enough, I see crowd that I have not seen before. The crowd that I see in the ministry yesterday in the church, I was amazed. I come on my own. He, he didn't even know that I was coming. They will shock when they see me. Some things are not necessary. But when you feel they are, they are very necessary, you be careful how you present them to the earth. A man bringing out his dick to massage in the public, you are the same man talking about Christianity. Tell me where is it the law of Nigeria that you should bring out your dick and massage and post in a video. It's a punishable offense. Blackmailing is a punishable offense. Trespassing is a punishable offense. Likewise, wow. you are intruding in people's business. You are getting yourself instigating other people to do. At the same time, you are taking some laws into your hand, teaching police their work, teaching not that their work, teaching all these people, and you feel they don't know. You are doing impersonation, my friend. Not my friend, my little boy. You're doing impersonation. You're impersonating Nigerian government in the work they should do. Who tell you there's no people in the court of law that know what is offense, what is do and done? So who the hell are you? A little rat like you? No, this is too much. This is totally too much. You overstep it into the place you should not. Too much of everything is bad. And the punishment 
of that is a spiritual attack. Spiritual attack. That is the punishment to that. Abba Pologi and Ikuku. O Jesu Ogaruni Ne. Abba Pologi and Ikuku. O Jesu Ogaruni Ne. By the time you woke up to talk about any man of God in Nigeria, you take a caution of what has happened to you. I'm still your host, His Royal Majesty King Agobola. I take something, but I don't take everything. God bless you for sharing my video. I love you so much. Keep doing the right thing, and may God protect you.